I'm the Senior Prospective Student Advisor at Polytechnique Montreal. Um, I am today with one of our, our graduates, Mizanur Rahman, who came first to study in Canada for his PhD at Polytechnique Montreal, and he decided to establish himself um, here in Canada after his studies. He now works at uh, Pratt & Whitney Canada, a global leader in, uh, in the aerospace field. Hello, everyone. Happy to be here and excited to share my experience with you guys. Thank you, Ms. Anur. So during this presentation, we'll go through four um, big topics that are, first of all, the city of Montreal um, and its characteristics that makes the metropole a very interesting city to come to study. Polytechnique Montreal and its strength um, based on research, its attention to stu students and its diversity. The graduate uh, programs offered in research and the research expertise of our professors to lead um, the different research projects. And finally, the opportunities that will be offered to you um, to remain in Canada after your studies if you decide so. Um, so Polytechnique Montreal is, loca is located in the province of Quebec. Um, it is the largest one in the country. Uh, the province is the only one officially French, while the others are English except for one that is officially bilingual. However, um, when we speak about Montreal, it is the metropole of the province. So it is bilingual city within the same province that is French, as I mentioned, um, but bilingual because it has been a land of immigration over the decades. So it is therefore a very multicultural city where French, English, and many other languages are spoken and respected among, among them, themselves through all the population that are decided uh, to be established in Montreal. So the city is located to five hours from Toronto and six hours from New York. Um, and it has many attractions in its surrounding while it's also very close to nature. So Montreal has been voted, uh, maybe you know about the city, but it has been voted the best student city in the Americas according to a survey um, held by Quacquarelli Simon Institute, which is uh, best known as the QS um, in, uh, Institute, who produces every year one of the most prestigious international uh, university rankings. So let's see why. Um, and then uh, after the video presentation, Mizanur uh, will give you just a few words about his own impression of the city when he first arrived as an international student. So let's watch this video. gathered responses from students and prospective students about what they thought about the world's best student cities. They're really excited by London and New York and Paris and these big cities that have got a lot to offer. But when we look at the student review, those expectations are not necessarily being met. There's a general sense that those cities are a little bit more impersonal. So that's the main place where Montreal has gained a lot of ground. It's not super big. There's like that sense of community. Quelque chose de cool, de de détendu où il n'y a pas forcément de jugement, un endroit agréable à vivre parce que les gens sont ouverts. Everybody here is very friendly and the environment is just very intimate. Let's examine in detail why those students have rated Montreal so highly. Five key themes. First, it's a beautiful city, architecturally, environmentally, the whole city is seen as very attractive. Second, it's affordable, particularly rents have been mentioned, but also other aspects. Third, the quality of institutions, they are all very well ranked. Fourth, the scene, arts, culture, the nightlife, things that students want to do.